I'll be right down. School hockey in Minnesota. Over the decades, a handful of teams appears on the bracket boards over and over. 
They are the perennial powerhouses, the schools with the deep feeder systems, the legendary coaches. They are the hockey machines. They are known. They are feared. There was a sense of teams kind of playing on their heels when they played. Hi, sweetie. Hi. And I think, you know, Jefferson definitely has that in hockey, and, and it works that way for Jefferson, too. I mean, the players don't believe it. Like the Evelyn is the first of Minnesota's great hockey dynasties. Beginning in 1945, the Golden Bears make a dozen consecutive trips to St. Paul, a record that may stand for all time. They win the title four straight years. Champion International Fall. But the record for most championships by a single school belongs to International Falls. The Broncos sweep the field seven times, including four out of five in the early 60s. No team has played for the hardware more than the Rozo Rams. In 1990, Rozo wins the next to last one class state tournament. One of the most prolific Twin Cities clubs is St. Paul Johnson. The governors make the final eight over 20 times. For most of them, hockey is still an outdoor event. Kids uh, took a lot of pride uh, when their shift came up at night to make, a, uh, make the ice. Uh, How many minutes? They uh, really got things going and once uh, we started having a little success I think it kind of bred on, on top of itself and it just kept going. Starting in 1969, one of the Twin Cities' most enduring sports dynasties comes buzzing out of Edina. One good reason is that Willard Eichola keeps his eye out for talent. He, he, he could get a good track on uh, the kids because he was a physical education teacher, and he knew the athletes coming through, and he talked to see and he said, who are you playing? You haven't tried hockey? <laughs> and, uh, stay away from that basketball. Why don't you play hockey? <laughs> 1980 begins the era of the Jaguar. Bloomington Jefferson wins third place in its first trip to state. Thereafter, the Jags mount a relentless pursuit of the championship. Here is Chris Tucker winding, shoot, and he scores! In 1992, Jefferson wins the first of three consecutive state championships. And in the middle of that run, in 1993, the Jaguars ice what many call the tournament's all-time greatest team. I don't want to argue that, do you? Uh, and I'm not, di I'm not discounting any of the other things. I'm talking about a team that played as tough a schedule as anybody has ever played. You know, four, all four defense were the Division I scholarship. You know, six of the four were the Division I scholarship. The way they moved the puck, you couldn't I don't think we realize that Jefferson 